Y'all, good evening. Come on in. I got Chef Kareem back in the kitchen one more time. See here around that boy so they can see. And you know he's getting ready to prepare his favorite thing, which is food. <laughs> food. Specifically pork chops and curly fries is what he's gonna prepare. This is his meal of choice for tonight. And this is what we're going to do. All that little noise you hear going on. Narik hanging out with me tonight. So, you'll hear him from time to time. He in there. Can you believe this baby already know how to play the squid games that just came out? I don't know, honey. I don't even have a clue. I don't even know how to watch it, let alone play it. Okay, so, Kareem's going to come on. And, uh, of course, we got the grease. We got the skillet on. What we're doing, you are. I got okay. my phone going too. Okay, yeah, he roll. We both rolling with this meal, so um, we're gonna uh, get everything. So, like I said, we got the curly fry. These are the Arby curly. Those are wonderful, y'all. All you gotta do to them is put a little oil on them, if a little bit of extra, little bit of little extra seasoning, and pop them in the oven for about twenty minutes, and they're done. And these, Kareem, these are medallion. Mini pork chops. Right, he he choose to call it whatever he said they are. He said many pork chops. I've been trying to dress up and say medallion. He said many, they're many. Okay, so all you have to do right here, I'm gonna let him do the work, and I'll I'll talk and work, or you can talk. Doesn't matter. Okay, you know me, so I'm easy. Put up. Grab your. Uh, you wanna you wanna do it with your hands, or you wanna do it with? What's the best? I, okay, it's easier and faster with him. It's your glove. Uh, glove. Um, yeah, yeah, he's all right. Actually, you don't need, you need one. Just one glove. Whatever hand you can get, right hand the one you use. He's going to use his right hand. And, um, and what, he, what he's going to do first, of course, he's already, um, let's get over here. He's already, uh, seasoned those pork chops with, uh, some complete seasoning. And I guess that's basically all because he drowns his in, in a hot sauce anyway, so it don't even really matter. So what he's going to do first is get these porks, well, they all got to get hot first. Get this thing lined up here. All right. Um. So I do put these in there. Right. Okay. How many? You, I thought you were using this hand for glove and you have to wear You want two gloves? No. Okay. How many? Just do three at a time, I think, will work in there. And then and once you, I do that, then Just work. flop them around there to get that. Um, so he use that glove hand to get that um, flour on them real good. Because we want to flour them up real good. Because these are actually smaller pork. These are bone. Let's just say boneless pork chops. After the flour, then what? After you flour them, make sure this grease is hot. Mm -hmm. And then when the grease get hot, we just gonna you can just go ahead and start putting them. I don't think that oil is no, nah, that oil needs to get a little bit hotter. And then we can always lower the heat. Uh, this is like uh, some um, corn oil and olive oil mixed together. Are those you got those floured up real good? Mm -hmm. And see, this is one of them situations where. Kareem loves these pork chops, so I feel like if he loves them that much, he needs to know how to cook them. And then we're cooking a different kind this time. Last time we cooked the ones with the bone in. These are just boneless ones, so they're, they're a lot right. smaller too. So yeah, they're right. Yeah. So what have y'all been doing all day long? I've been doing almost nothing pretty much just piddling as i call it i use i piddle all day monday but I, it spilled over into tuesday today i just you know looking at a few things on it um haven't looked at any news today just looking at some stuff on tv um so i'm just sort of chilling today tomorrow i might chill some more who knows gotta take my car in for repairs one day this week so is you ready nah needs to heat up a little bit more and we don't want to put it in too too hot because uh you know when you, as soon as they hit that grease and as thin as they are then we got thin chops you can't put the grease too too hot but at the same time you don't want it where they'll get foggy right quick so we just 
Okay, I think it might be it might be right ready now. You can just make sure they uh batter it real good. And then you can start putting them in. Mm -hmm. Make sure they batter it real, real good. Yeah. This is gonna layer softly. Hmm. Softly. Yeah, yeah, because you want that juice to pop up on it. You just let them just ease them down in there. I'm not using my new cook water I'm not using because actually I didn't buy the, a skillet um, for that set. I just bought the other pan. So I'm going to go back because they, they're kind of pricey, y'all. So I'm going to have to buy. Uh, I bought that the big set, but then I didn't buy any skillets because I, I like these nice skillets here. And I've got one piece over there that I can use as a skillet. Um, but I decided that tonight we're just going to use our regular skillet because these. This is my emerald cookware here, and uh, it cooks pretty good. But one thing about it, when you're cooking as much as I cook, you have to have some good cookware. You can't can't use that thin, uh, flimsy cookware because then your food doesn't cook evenly. And to me, it's just, so, I mean, I can taste the difference in what it tastes like if it's, if it's not good cookware. So, I went ahead and, you know, my cookware is an investment because I use it all the time. And I, you know, since I've been doing this YouTube channel, not only do I want it to cook good, I want it to look good. So, that's just me. It will take you a fork or something and move, move these over. You can get one more and then that way you won't have but uh, two things. Just slide one of those over so you can get another one in. Yeah. You don't want to crop the pan up too much. But that's it. And then you put your another one right there. And uh, these babies will be done in a minute. Okay. And you can go ahead and drop the rest of those other two in there and get them all battered up. And as soon as these come out, you can be rolling, boy. My bad, guy. My bad. <laughs> he forgot what he was doing, y'all! <laughs> Yeah, just all the way. And if you, yeah, if you think you're going to get your fingers on that, I got some tongs somewhere. You can use tongs uh, to put them in so that you make sure you get them in uh, without dropping them. That grease will be clean. <laughs> that grease takes no prisoners. Okay, so that's enough in there now. Oh, yeah, we we'll, 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 you know, just have to, you know, be like two pans of pork chop. And these will have to fry about six minutes on each side. And then we come back and flip them, and we'll get the next pan going. And uh, pretty much, this meal will just about be ready because uh, all you gotta do is pop these. Well, we're gonna put the curly fries in when we put the uh, next pan of chops in. Okay, so if y'all will hang out for me about two or three minutes, I'll be right back. Now it's time for him to turn these chops. And just it like that there you go. So all you gotta do is just once like I was saying to uh when you know when you're cooking, as I've told y'all many, many times, you have to be well aware of what's what's going on in that frying pan or in that boiler in that oven, uh, and be respectful of what is you're cooking because grease is hot and it ain't gonna get unhot while it's on that fire, so you have to figure out, you know, what you feel comfortable with doing in terms of Stirring in it, you know, do it gently, take your time and do it, and it'll happen. You know, you have to get used to it. You got to cook more than one or two times to get used to what the cooking is doing. You see what, now you're looking at it, you see what it looks like when it's cooking. So, when it looks like that, you know it's cooking. Now, you cook it about five or six minutes on the first side. It's only going to take another four minutes. I always pull one minute back for the other side because it's cooked through to a point now. So it took five minutes on the other side. We're only going to cook it four minutes on this side. Then we're going to just, uh, when it browns up, you see when it starts to brown up, you don't want them too hard because these are thin. We want them, you know, cook done, but also we want them to cook crisp enough so that that goodness comes through. So we're going to let them just continue to stay and cook. Um, about three more minutes and we'll be ready to take them out and we got I think three or four more to put in and uh, I don't know whatever else Kareem's going to want besides his um, fries and 
pork chop. The broccoli. And the broccoli. Well, I'm, I'm more so want some broccoli. Okay. That's so probably my beef. Oh, yeah. I think your mom said she's going to come back here and eat some of the She'll probably eat a pepper when she fry. I think I want a salad. Huh? <laughs> I want a salad. Salad. Okay. So as you can see, now Kareem, he's going to cook, he's doing this meal in real time. It'll probably take 15 minutes, uh, 12 to 15 minutes to fry these pork chops. Start the pans. Well, you know you have to prep them, but to cook them, are uh, two different pans, 12, 15 minutes, and then get your fries in the oven, or heat that broccoli back up, and you got yourself a meal. Cooking is not that difficult. You like anything else, you have to learn how to do it so that you feel comfortable with doing it. That's why you know he wanted to come on and do this meal, and because this was he liked. So inside of 30 minutes, he can very easily come in here and have him a good old meal going on. It's just not rocket science, y'all. It feels like it because you feel awkward at first, but once you get used to it, just like learning how to ride a bicycle, learn how to sew, use a sewing machine. When the first time, remember, we used to go to typing class, all that kind of stuff. When you first see it on a keyboard, when you paint your first wall, what, when you do your stuff first time, it feels awkward. My mom used to always say, practice makes perfect. So if you don't do it often, then, you know, it's going to take you a little while to become uh, used to doing certain things. So we got these pork chops rolling. They smell good to y'all. I'm talking about shown enough to do it. So now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take us on these paper plates, sit it over here, and we're going to put uh, some paper towel on here because we need to drain. We're going to drain them. Okay, we're just going to put that paper towel on there, and we're going to stitch, um... Ooh, that camera looks so good. You said yours is in HD? Yeah, I am on, okay. like a movie. Well, I can set mine on HD, too. I don't know oh, if it's no, set no. on HD. Oh, My, okay. Mine probably got grease all over the screen. That's what Tony's always asking me about. So now, um, this one here, this is the first one we turned, so we can just about get ready to turn to take it out of the pan. But the rest of these stay in there a couple more minutes. Let's see. So we want everything nice and brown. Okay. And then we just take and sit them on that uh, napkin there so that grease will sort of, uh, the napkin will absorb that grease. And we'll be done. We'll be done here shortly, y'all, with this meal. Uh, again, this is a meal that can be from, even from the prep, in 30 minutes this can be on the table. Because, you know, we're talking, we're stopping, we're doing this, that, and the third. But in 30 minutes you can uh, season, uh, flour, and cook these pork chops, put these fries in a pan, and have them done and on the table in 30 minutes. So, I mean, you know, it's just one of those things that does not take forever in a day. It's one of those good meals. So if you want to go ahead and start taking these out, I know that. Uh, I don't want to do that for. Okay, so we're gonna take this first batch. Go ahead and get this first batch out. Let that one cook a little. Let it fry for a little bit more. Just a little, little, little bit more, and then we'll start putting the rest of them into the pan. I think we got, yeah, we only got three more to go, so we're going to start putting these other three into our pan. Slide those over. And by the time I get all these in, those others will be ready to come out. Simple meal, folks. Simple meal. Guys, fellas, anybody that, you know, if you're not used to cooking, Simple, simple meal for you to cook. And you might say, you'll get a feel for what you're doing over time. And look, y'all know me. I told you, when I'm in here cooking, I make mistakes all the time. And that's why a lot of times I don't do a lot of editing unless it's just something that's horrible. I don't edit. I'll go ahead and show you how to correct if it's something I can correct. I, go, I like to go ahead and just let you know nothing is perfect. So, you know, I'll, I'll leave the mistakes and the blunders in 
so that you can see that. So y'all hang on a minute and I'll be right back. Oh, Kareem, we got a little wisdom from Kareem. I think my camera fix is quit on me here, too. Um, what you put out is what you are black. What Kareem is talking, he's talking wisdom talk now. He's giving y'all a few nuggets there. He said what you put out is what, what you attract. It's what you attract. How about that for a nugget? And it's what, and what you're attracting and what you put out. Okay. So if you, if you attract dumbness, that's what you put out. <laughs> uh, be for real. Yeah. You are what you attract. Yep. Mm. What you allow, what you, you know, tolerate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's just dropping a few nuggets. He's just dropping a little. Is she on the way? Uh, well, that's a good thought, though, is, is what you put out. Yeah. Is, is you, is, in other words, how you talk, you, how you speak, how you think. Yeah, it's real, huh? In other words, you give what you get. I mean, you get what you give. But in the bigger sense, it's God giving. Yeah. I mean, it's not you use it, you know what I mean? Exactly. And it can be used in a godly way or in a safe way. Yeah, that's just, you know, that's all you. Right. It's on you. I don't control it. Nobody controls it but you. Yeah. Yeah. You get what you tolerate, you get what you allow. You allow good, you do good. Right, and that's okay. what we, yeah, and we want to, as much as we can, we want to put out good because that, at least I do, me personally. Yeah. I try to put out as good as I want to get back. So, yeah, and, and it's, you know, that's a conscious, that's a conscious effort, you know. Yeah. You always, that's why I'm always saying, you know, do good to people and, and they, you know, and not necessarily that we do good all the time to get somebody to do something. That's not that's not the purpose of doing good. Yeah. The purpose of doing good is just like what God told us when Jesus told us when he left, he said, Love one another by love you. And he knows what he means by love. We have to you know, I tell people this we need a little vocabulary uh, with a little side dictionary so we understand what love means, what it means to do well towards people. You don't do well towards people just to get something back. You do it because it's what thus says the Lord, first of all. Yep. And then on a daily basis, we put out uh, those good vibes and those good thoughts and those good deeds because we want, I, I want stuff, I want goodness around me, but I'm not naive enough to think that it's going to always be good. Yeah. So, you know. I want superhumans around me. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. If I can't see me in another person, woo! Yeah, I'm sharp and iron. Okay, line, my though. exit stretch of G's. I just how to do the same. I'm so sharp and so iron. Yeah. So be conscious of what you tolerate. Yeah. Very aware of what you tolerate and what you don't. Yeah. You know, I appreciate that, grandson. You know, it, it makes me feel good to get some wisdom from a young mind because we, yeah. we need those thoughts because, first of all, you know, we need to know that. Uh, these, that our young people are giving back some of what we put in to them over the over the years and to know, you know, they're gonna take their wisdom on into the world and it's gonna be all right. Yes, Lord, I know I do. This, this, these are the days that I live for is to see my children and grandchildren and great grandchildren do well and speak well of themselves and of others and so that others will speak well. I share with you what Norik shared with me. He's a wise old soul. So he said, Gigi, I got the, I think it's called the, the goodie box today. And I said, oh my goodness, that's wonderful. And I said, what's in the goodie box? He said, everything. And I thought, you know what? Why do they give you the goodie box? He said, because I'm good. And he's five years old. So, you know, at least at, at five, he's thinking those kind of thoughts. And um, he, there, he, and he talked to me about Red uh, decisions and blue decisions, the red decisions are the good decisions, he said. And I said, oh, are the bad decisions, the blues are the bad. I said, well, what do you mean by that? He said, well, red decisions have consequences. But well, that baby's mind is already going in the right direction. So I thank God and Kareem can come and, and make a, a grown man statement like, you know, you, you, get, you get as good as you give. You know, that's profound as far as I'm concerned. So... If that nugget will take you through to tomorrow, we invite you to take it and ride with it. Okay, it's time for these shops to come out.
at the heart of who you are. You are naturally supposed to know that along with other, along with other things. Yeah. You know now, how you um, how you gonna season this broccoli? Okay. That broccoli, basically, it's already seen because it is what Norik had for his dinner. So we got a little container of broccoli. All right, we ain't no baby food now. Oh, okay. It's chopped broccoli. Right. Actually, it's chopped broccoli. And it's very good. And all we got to do with this broccoli, it's not oh, a just lot. just put it in there. Yeah. What we can do with it is we're going to reheat it. Um, let's go here because I need another container. We got, you know, I'm very visual. So we got, and you know, when you're putting your stuff out there, you want to put the, the best foot forward. You don't like cheese, so this is going to be chopped broccoli. And it already has some uh, seasoning on it. So we can get it going over here. Mmm. My stove's hot. So we're just going to do some chopped broccoli and these nice crispy fried pork chops. Now this is Kareem's meal. This is what he decided to do. He's going he's starting a YouTube channel and he's got you know, I already got, started it. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. So you need I'm to like, come. I'm like 8 videos, 9 videos in. Okay. And I'm, well, I'm really like 13 videos. I got I got really three YouTube channels, but I'm only Okay, so Corinne, you want to just talk about this for a minute, and uh, this is this is his first meal, gonna be the first meal that you're gonna see on his channel. So my channel is on it's K E R R E M H O W E L L, and it's spaced together. Okay, okay, so it? it's all it's all one word. Yeah, yeah, it's all put together. Okay, mm -hmm. and so there's Kareem. <laughs> Give him that. Oh, show him them oh, pearly oh, whites. Oh, ugly camera. <laughs> He talks I about my camera. camera just like he bought it. But anyway, that's my handsome 24-year-old uh, grandson. He just turned 24, and he's wanting to learn how to cook and do all these domesticated things so that he can uh, do what he do uh, on his channel. So y'all tune in to Kareem Howell. Together. All of it's one word, yeah, all one together. Word. Uh, Kareem Howell is his YouTube channel. So please go on his channel, check him out. Subscribe. Subscribe. Thumbs up. Yep. And cash at me. It's my the cash app is the same thing. Okay, he got. Word. Okay, he got, I got a cash app. Lanes open. I mean, yeah. You know, I mean, okay. Let see that. that the, see, uh, the word of God say you have not because you ask not. So that is that's that's the road he's on with his channel. So y'all please stop by his channel, give him a thumbs up, subscribe, leave him a comment, and he'll respond back to you. So thank y'all as usual for tuning in, listening to me, helping me support my grandson so listen guys y'all keep those prayers going up so the blessings will continue to come down pray without ceasing and remember Kareem what give him your little nugget that you gave him uh get what you tolerate attract you attract that's nothing right. else but you okay guys so that's it and I'm done love you guys until I cook again toodaloo peace